Hey there, I got another video for you. I was out four wheeling um, this past weekend and my winch stopped working. Uh, worn winch, it was very sad. Uh, I couldn't winch in. I could winch the cable out under power, but I could no longer winch in. So I could hear the solenoids clicking. Um, this is a solenoid here. Uh, these are three of the four solenoids. One of them didn't survive disassembly, but we won't get into that. We've got three here and I'm gonna test them for you or uh, show you how to test them yourself. These heavy lugs, uh, they conduct the power from the battery to the winch motor. And these small lugs here, or the small terminals here, energize the coil to close the contact uh, between the two heavy lugs. So when you energize this, it closes that, and then you've got continuity. Each of these solenoids carries 100 amps, and they run in series uh, to enable the winch to draw up to 200 amps. Usually there's two for opening, or two for pulling in, and two for letting out, you know. Uh, now the coils are rated to be energized at closing the contact for up to 10 minutes at a time. It's called intermediate heavy duty rating, not continuous duty. So you can't leave these things energized for, you know, 15 or 20 minutes. Of course, you're gonna burn your winch motor up if you do that. So I'm gonna show you how to test them because maybe you did run them too long. There's a lot of confusion out on the internet about how to do that. I'm gonna show you, it's going to be plain and simple, won't take but a few minutes to do it and you can verify exactly which one of these are bad and you can replace it. Okay, if you look at the multimeter, it's got infinite ohms right now. Um, I'm gonna close this, the two test leads here and you should see, there you go, 0.2. Um, that's the resistance between these two. Um, that's a good conductor. That's what you would expect a reading uh, between these two heavy lugs once we put power to them. So let's check that. If you see a reading like this, meaning open, that means we've got a bad solenoid. So I'm good, I've got a battery off camera here. I've got these test leads. Um, it really doesn't matter the order. The, these, these are non-directional. So it doesn't matter which one's hot and ground, but this is the hot. We're gonna put it on and then the ground. And you hear, the, you hear it clicking on. Let's test here. All right, we got 77 ohms, 75 ohms, it's kinda high. Let's come back to that one. Let's test this one. Point 0.8, that's about right. So this one's good. Point two, so this one's really good. So what we know here is this, this one right here is our bad one. So I'm gonna show you one more time. Point two. All right, we're good. Point six, good. Two point two, two. So it's really high, and then it was open earlier. So this one's bad. So this one's bad. Uh, it needs to be replaced. These two are good. Uh, they're probably the. These are probably the solenoids that were used for spooling the cable out. So these. Um, 
I'm actually gonna replace all of them, but I would put these in my spare parts bin and throw that one in the trash. I'm gonna put an Amazon affiliate link below so you can see exactly what I ordered. I actually replaced these with worn OEM. I don't think these are the OEM ones. You, you can get um, the same style here. They make them for boat starter motors. So you can just order those, um, but they're a little heavier duty. Uh, part so I, I, I kind of splurge and get the the name brand ones <clears throat> now um, Hopefully my winch will work and I can go wheeling again <laughs>